Bring out your green. St. Patrick's Day, observed every March 17th, is packed with parades, good luck charms, and all things green. The event started as a religious holiday, but over time it's become a celebration of Irish culture. St. Patrick might be the patron saint of Ireland, but he didn't always live in Ireland. Patrick was born in Britain in the 4th century and didn't arrive in Ireland until he was 16 years old, when he was sent to work in the country. After he arrived, Patrick became interested in Christianity and started teaching others about the religion. He is said to have converted many of the country's residents to Christians, and now St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on the day Patrick supposedly died. St. Patrick was a real person, but some of the traditions associated with him and the holiday are actually myths. For instance, you'll often see the four-leaf clover on St. Patrick's Day. However, according to legend, Patrick used a three-leaf clover, or shamrock, as part of his teachings. Even though it's possible for a shamrock to grow a fourth leaf, a four-leaf clover is just considered a symbol of good luck. The fact that Ireland is an island, as well as green with leafy trees and grassy hills, means that the nation is sometimes called the Emerald Isle. But the color that people originally associated with St. Patrick was blue. Even some ancient Irish flags even sport this color. Green was finally introduced to St. Patrick's Day festivities in the 18th century, when the shamrock, which is, of course, green, and it became a national symbol. Because of the shamrock's popularity in Ireland's landscape, the color stuck to the holiday. Green is also the color that mythical fairies called leprechauns like to dress in, today, at least. But tales about leprechauns date back to before green was in. The fairies were first described as wearing red. Leprechauns are actually one reason you're supposed to wear green on St. Patrick's Day, or risk getting pinched. The tradition is tied to folklore that says wearing green makes you invisible to leprechauns, which like to pinch anyone they can see. Some people also think sporting the color will bring good luck, and others wear it to honor their Irish ancestry. No wonder green decorations can be seen all over. So St. Patrick's Day honors St. Patrick, the man who brought Christianity to Ireland and of course it is a national holiday in Ireland. Yet people in the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, and other countries enjoy the holiday, too. And it is very popular here in the United States. It was emigrants, particularly to the United States, who transformed St. Patrick's Day into a largely secular holiday of revelry and celebration of things Irish. Cities with large numbers of Irish immigrants, who often wielded political power, staged the most extensive celebrations, which included elaborate parades. Boston held its first St. Patrick's Day parade in 1737, followed by New York City in 1762. Since 1962 Chicago has colored its river green to mark the holiday. Irish and non-Irish alike commonly participate in the wearing of the green sporting an item of green clothing or a shamrock, the Irish national plant, in the lapel. Corned beef and cabbage are associated with the holiday, and even beer is sometimes dyed green to celebrate the day. People also gather to watch parades of traditional Irish dancers and musicians as they march through city streets. However you celebrate, here's hoping it's a lucky day. Enjoy a parade in the small town on Long Island, New York with us. It was my second parade this year and I can say it is always a fun, joy and positive energy. I hope you enjoyed the parade with us. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Watch more on Yuka Vlog.